and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full walk around video on this 2016 Honda CRV Limited Edition. Now we'll start off on the front of the car, run you through the condition and also the features inside and out as well. Starting off at the front, as you can see you do get colour coded front parking sensors, so there are four of them. You also get really nice headlights with the daytime running lights integrated in them and then you get your fog lights that are fitted down the bottom. Now the front of the car does present in really good condition, especially for a 2016. There are minor minor stone chips here and there, but nothing inconsistent for the age of the vehicle. We'll come around and look at our first alloy wheel. We'll note that these uh, front wheels have been fitted with brand new tyres, and the wheel itself actually looks like an unmarked alloy wheel, so it just needs a bit of a clean, but other than that, it does present really well. Do also get colour code exterior mirrors and door handles. The mirrors themselves do actually have the indica indicator integrated into the mirror. We'll take a look inside the actual car, if I can get it unlocked, give me two seconds. So taking a look inside the car now, as you will see, the inside of the car, or the driver's compartment does present really well. All the seats are in fantastic condition, you have all your uh, height adjustment and the backrest adjustment as well. And as you can see, all the plastics and the scuff plate are all intact as well. And where we get lazy and kick open the door, real minimal wear on that door as well, which is always good. Now, it doesn't look like these windows have been tinted, so I would highly advise that you do talk to us about getting these windows tinted, not only for the heat factor, but also for the safety factor as well. You can also see that we do have the side step fitted as well. Now, the cool thing about this side step is they have, they've noticed that the driver isn't actually going to need the, need the side step because, you know, it's an adult driving the car, but the kids will be getting in the back, so they've actually given you just a step for the back half of the vehicle, which is a good idea to have. Second alloy wheel, another brand new tyre, so it looks like we're going to have four brand new tyres all around and it looks like another unmarked alloy wheel as well. Now we'll come to the back of the vehicle, where you will see you do have all your chrome badging, the CRV badging, also your four-wheel drive badging and also the limited edition badging as well, which is finished in the red, which is a nice touch. You also get a high mount stop light, the rear windscreen wiper, and then as you can see you do have colour coded exterior parking, oh sorry, reverse parking sensors as well and a factory reverse camera which I'll show you inside. Taking a look inside the boot real quickly, as you can see, massive amounts of storage. You've also got the cargo blind as well, and you have these little cargo nets as well, just to hold in any shopping if you think it's going to fly around. Now underneath the little tray at the back, as you can see, you do get a full-size spare wheel as well, which is always comes in handy. We'll close up the tailgate and we'll keep working our way down the passenger side of the vehicle. As you can see, fuel door is on the passenger side, so that is the safe side. Again, as I mentioned, brand new tyres all round. Now this wheel does have a little bit of minor rashing on the wheel itself, but again, for 2016, nothing inconsistent. We'll keep working our way down the side of the vehicle. As you'll notice, all the paintwork's in fantastic condition. Now there is a little camera underneath the actual side mirror itself here, which I'll show you once we get inside the actual car. And then coming to the fourth and final wheel. Now this wheel, you can expect, usually uh, most people do get a bit of gutter rushing on this wheel, as it is the one that you park next to the curb, which this wheel does have. But again, nothing inconsistent for the age of the vehicle. So as you can see guys, with four brand new tires, and the exterior condition of the vehicle presents really well, previous owners done a great job of maintaining the vehicle. Guys, taking a look underneath the bonnet. So what we have here is a 2.4 four cylinder engine producing 114 kilowatts and also 190 newton meters of torque. Do get a five speed sports automatic gearbox in the vehicle. Also get a 50 liter capacity tank that you can run on 91 or above. But the attractive thing about this engine is actually the fuel consumption. 7.7 .7 liters to the 100K. So out of that 50, 80 liter capacity tank, you're expecting average of 753 kilometers. Uh, let's take a look inside the interior now. We'll start you off on the driver's side door. You do have all your power window controls. The driver's window is automatic and that's up and down. All your central locking. Also a button here that will lock the window. So if anyone's mucking around with the windows, you can lock them out. Also lights up orange to let you know when it's locked. And then you have all your mirror controls. Now with the mirrors themselves, you can actually fold them in. So if you are parking the side of the road and you don't want to get your mirrors taken off, that's the best idea to do that. Behind the steering wheel, you do have the little green button that is your econ button, so that is going to put the car in the most fuel efficient way possible, but obviously you're going to lose a bit of power and torque. You also have your reverse and front parking sensors, you can turn them off and on, and then your traction control button as well. Now on your right hand stalk, you have your indicators, your fog lights, and also your headlights, which you can just leave on order and it'll do all the work for you. And there also is a button here that on the outside of the stalk, which I'll show you, which actually shows you the left hand side of the vehicle. On your left hand stalk you have your front and rear windscreen wipers and they're automatic as well. Now on the steering wheel itself, 
On the right hand side you have all your cruise control settings. Just down below here, a couple buttons just to flick through the main, center, uh, the, in the main screen in the center cluster. Left hand side is all your media controls and then down below is your Bluetooth controls. Now into the main entertainment system now as you can see, you do get AM, FM radio, you get USB, AUX, you also get HDMI as well. And as I mentioned before, you do have the um, Bluetooth capabilities as well. Now putting this car in reverse, I will show you the reverse camera. There are three different angles you can actually use. So as you can see, there is a wide angle now, a little bit of a narrow angle, and then you've got the zoomed in angle which right to the bumper, which is an also a really good feature. Down below is all your climate control settings, so your temperature on the left hand side, where you want the air to come out in the middle, and obviously the fan speed on the right hand side. Your automatic gearbox, do get another 12 volt socket in here as well. Couple, couple cup holders, which you can actually take these out to give you a bit more storage, and as you can see they do go back in very nice and easy. And then in the actual centre console itself, it's where it gets a bit interesting, you do get HDMI, two USBs, and another 12 volt socket. So as you can see, there's not only really good features in there, but a lot of storage as well. Now I'm just gonna get the camera person to pan around the interior, show you the condition of the vehicle, as the inside of the car does present really well. And then once we're done doing that, we'll jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. Okay guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only the condition, but also some of the features as well. Now as I mentioned before, some things I'd like to talk to you about. One is taking advantage of the window tint and also packaging it with the glass coat that we offer here. So it actually is going to give you a lifetime warranty on the paintwork of the vehicle. And if the, if the paintwork is affected by things like bat poo, bird droppings, uh, paint fade, paint oxidization, the company we use will actually respray the whole panel for free if they cannot fix it on site. The other thing is our premium mechanical protection plan. It is going to give you an additional five years, up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection, unlimited claims up to 3,600 dollars per claim, and 10 years of premium roadside assist with 250 kilometers of free towing. Now, of course, these are an additional cost, but if you do use our in-house finance, Julia Mario business managers will actually show you how minimal it affects the payments once you actually add these in. Last thing before I go, with a 4.8 star rating on Google with over 960 reviews from Australia-wide customers, Hopefully that can give you the peace of mind that you're buying a beautiful car from the right dealership and also the right people as well. Again, number to call 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.